We write down the addresses, today's date, obviously, status. So we decided very early on that education would be our number one focus when it came to 2010 census. We made sure people knew the connection between census and the community resources. Early on, Chaya started to focus on what we as tenant attorneys saw as a very important uh, problem, and that is the so-called illegal apartments, or apartments that are not permitted under either building codes or zoning laws. Because of the housing stock in Queens, there really isn't enough affordable housing. Um, and it hasn't kept up, the development of housing hasn't kept up with the population increase. Uh, most of the, the families, South Asian families, are joint family systems where you have multiple generations of, of a family or multiple uh, members of a family living together. So we wanted to make sure that people were not fearful of answering census questions just because they lived in a basement apartment. It was actually more important that they got counted because they stand to benefit the most. And similarly, we wanted to make sure the landlords who depend on being able to pay the mortgage uh, on the rental income were not afraid about a building code violation or department of buildings if they answered that, yes, I do have tenants who live in the basement. Going around to make sure people got their census forms. Uh, we're based in Jackson Heights. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks for pulling out the census. Coming out okay. today and uh, knocking in doors, trying to get people counted for the census is very important because I feel you know I'm part of this community. I owe something to it. It raised me, and I have to try to get back. You know, I'm a first-generation immigrant. So my mom came here, you know, I'm U.S. born. Growing up here, like, you see all that the country has to offer. And, you know, it's not just enough to just sort of be here, but the fact is that if we're going to be here, we might as well, you know, um, engage people around us into, you know, the issues that are important, because if we don't, then no one else will. No community lives in isolation. So to have the kind of community cohesion that we need in a society that's increasingly diverse, it's important to have that kind of community engagement, community dialogue, and ultimately, multicultural understanding. So we really wanted to take this opportunity to bring together all the different community groups and artists and musicians and performers um, to celebrate not just Chaya's 10 year anniversary, but also uh, to celebrate the community. We've, we've really come a long way over the last 10 years, um, and, and we're really proud of all that, that we've been able to accomplish together. What can I leave behind that is uniquely tied to me as an individual and as a community member is what what makes my work at Chaya hugely important. As a community, we are as good as our most marginalized member in the community. I think we're playing a very critical role in uh, connecting with people, um, informing them, educating them, um, making them understand of their rights. The real impact is that we're helping to build the community, make the community stronger, it's something that's going to last for generations. Support Chaya because it is meeting the needs of some of the most marginalized communities in New York City. It is meeting the needs of a population that is the fastest growing and it is meeting the needs of a population that has the potential to be a very active civic members of the community. You know, we, did, we just don't want policies to happen to us. We want to be actively involved in their making. Um, that's the goal as informed citizens.